Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Monday, October 30th of 2023. I hope you all had a really good weekend. How was your eclipse? Uh, some very powerful energies throughout the weekend. Mine was pretty good. Um, I actually ended up doing a little bit of reorganizing around my house and, uh, you know, rearranging my, uh, my altars and my tarot decks and all that kind of stuff. So a little bit of a deep clean a la Taurus energy. So uh, hopefully yours was good. Uh, of course, we've had some revelations um, through the weekend. Uh, I don't know how old you guys are or how much you remember about this time, but I grew up watching Friends. So of course, on Saturday night, I saw this news that Matthew Perry had all of a sudden passed away. I'm like, no. And of course, a small part of me was thinking, okay, it's eclipse season. Who's the joke on, right? Like, is this like fake news or something like that? But I don't think so. At the time I do this reading, I think it would have been refuted already if that was the case. So uh, that's very unfortunate. But um, anyway, such as it is, I guess. So a uh, funny guy, but also a troubled guy. Anyways, how was your eclipse? Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get right into your reading, shall we? I also, by the way, do have some short videos of some shorts coming out. Uh, as you all pretty much know, I don't like doing them, um, but I don't have a choice. Uh, basically, YouTube is at the point where uh, creators are handcuffed. And if you don't do the shorts, your videos don't get shown to any new people. So uh, it's very unfortunate. Um, it's almost like, you know, free will has been taken away just a little bit, but such as it is. So instead of resisting it, just going with the flow and having some fun with it. So there's some fun little um, Halloween ones coming out there for you and a couple of pick a card readings as well. But we have skeleton energy coming in here, bringing you strength. So in your day to day, you may find that you need to really um, embrace your backbone <laughs> uh, so there might be something you might need to stand up for yourself. Uh, maybe you need to stand up for someone else. Maybe you really need to, uh, you know, really uh, stay firm in your boundaries. If you've said any with somebody, uh, someone might be trying to cross them. So there just may be something around you today that uh, you just really need to embrace that inner strength that you've got and you need to, uh, you know, very much need to have that really strong spine, right? This may also be a time when you are facing your fears or you're making some change. And of course, that eclipse energy, it's still with us. It's not gone away. Uh, it actually got reactivated um, uh, about, mm, I forget how many hours, about eight hours or so uh, the following day, let's say after the eclipse, it got reactivated with some Uranus energy. So Uranus brings a little bit of chaos and uh, it, it is bringing us uh, things for our future. But um, you know, so a lot of uh, a lot of chaotic energy and a lot of, um, you know, really weird energy as well. So it just may be that you've got some things going on where you are going to really have to rely on your inner strength today. And you are being reminded that you have it within you. We sometimes forget and we sometimes allow other people to take our personal power. But no, this is the day where you're going to bring that back. Remember that inner strength that you have is always, always, always with you. All right. So let's see what else we get out for you guys here today. Of course, I'm still using my Halloween deck. So I only have a few more days to use these things. These are fun. I especially like these ones. Um, but let's have a look and see what we've got. Your main energy of the day. We've got the lover's card. So partnerships of all kinds. And so in the lover's card energy, you might be uh, strengthening a bond that you have with somebody. You might meet someone new, right? We do have the energy of Jupiter that was uh, that had a conjunction with the moon. And if you're single, this can actually bring you some really good luck in the area of love. So some of you might be meeting somebody new. You might meet a new friend, new business partnerships. Some of you, if you're already coupled up with somebody or if you've got like some friends or family, this might be where, um, you know, there's uh, a lot of um, growth and strength in that relationship. So you could be having a relationship that goes to the next level. But the lover's card is also um, a reminder to find the balance between two people or between the relationships in your life. And this is one where it's a reciprocal energy, right? Give and take. 
And so this is maybe a reminder here for some of you with this energy that there may be somebody in your life that you have some sort of relationship with, whether it's a business one, a personal one, whatever it happens to be. And you might need to, uh, you know, really to restore some balance if things have kind of got out of alignment. Maybe it's become a little bit transactional. Um, maybe it's been one where, um, you know, you have maybe drifted apart or maybe you've had an argument. So that strength there is going to give you the extra energy that you need to either have an important conversation, to stick with some boundaries, or maybe try and restore some balance, or at the very least as well, make a very important decision because the lover's card does represent a choice, matters of the heart. So you might need to choose what relationships you want to keep in your life right now and what you don't, what's working and what is not, and relationships of all kinds. The lover's card there does also show, though, your connection with your higher self and your um, really ability to tap into your higher mind, your higher consciousness. And of course, we are the day before Halloween. So the veil is thin between two worlds. It's a lot easier right now to connect with our angels, spirits, guides, our ancestors, our past loved ones, right? Anything in the spiritual realm. So you might um, have some very wonderful energy for you today to connect. And if you actually look at this particular card, it's a very uh, Halloween-y thing, um, we've got a person here that looks like in the 3D, and then we've got this little ghostly figure here. And so this can be very much a time of heightened connection for you. It might be a lot easier. So maybe gain, engage in some meditation or something like that. Whatever works for you, work with crystals, light a candle, right? That can also work as well to connect with the spirit world. We've got the Four of Pentacles coming in as your challenge today. So your challenge here may be to open up the Four of Pentacles. While it is an energy that brings us some stability and security in our lives, in the challenge energy, this is where, you know, I mean, you look at our, our weird little creature on here and he is holding on for dear life to his possessions, to his values, to his heart, right? So there may be something here where the challenge is releasing and letting go. The challenge there is to maybe allow someone in or embrace something new, right? We can't grow, we can't expand, we can't make change when we're holding on to something so incredibly tight. The Four of Pentacles can represent your money. It can represent your values as well, right? The things that you possess, the things that you value, your personal values, your personal possessions. And so sometimes here, folks, sharing is caring, okay? So maybe you're holding on to some information and you don't want to share it. Um, you know, or you're really a little bit uh, resistant to change. And so we kind of kind of retreat to within. So your challenge today is opening up, is evolving, is allowing someone in, and maybe even making compromise as well in this energy. Sometimes we need to do that, all right? But trust in your foundation that you've built no matter what you've got going on, right? Because the Four of Pentacles does bring stability and security. And, you know, but in the challenge, maybe you don't trust the foundation that you've built or you feel as though, you know, there might be something that has to change, um, you know, or maybe you're just afraid of welcoming in new things because or taking something to the next level because it does require you to step into the unknown a little bit and that can always be just a little bit scary all right part of the challenge today too with the four of pentacles is recognizing um, the difference between wants and needs so you may be in an energy here today where you do need to hold on to your money and not make rash decisions, rash choices don't spend frivolously today all right is there something that you really 
need to, you know, enhance your life, put a roof over your head, groceries, you know, pay your bills, that kind of thing? Or is there something that you just really want, right? But you, maybe it's uh, a little bit of challenge to uh, afford it right now, but you might really be tempted to. I would say while we're in this eclipse energy to hold off on making a decision and for the next couple of days, all right, and then see if you really do still desperately want it because impulsive decisions uh, right around this time, especially with money, may or may not serve you well because you could be spending, overspending in one area and then neglecting your needs, right? There's no point buying that shiny new thing and then all of a sudden saying, oh crap, I can't afford toilet paper, right? Uh, it's not going to not gonna go so well. So just a little bit of discernment with your money. The blessings headed your way, though. We do have the chariot card coming out here. So this is awesome. This is breaking away, breaking free from any stagnant energy. This is overcoming balances or overcoming challenges um, and obstacles in your path. The chariot is a beautiful energy, Cancerian energy, very connected with the moon. Um, the lover's card, by the way, is Gemini. Okay, so maybe you're really thinking about what it is that you want today. Where do you feel that you want to get to? What do you feel you need to change? What do you feel you need to start again? The choice is yours. The chariot is where everything is coming into alignment for you. And then bam, there you go off to the races, right? But part of the hard part can be about making a decision or finding that balance, okay? Or letting go so that you can propel forward. The chariot card really does speak to your willpower and your ambition, and it also is an energy of success. But it's success by your own doing because of the choices that you've made and the actions that you've taken. So this is a beautiful energy. So there is an, an energy of overcoming challenges, and there is an energy of success and making all the right moves, the right moves for you, whatever that looks like to you. Um, but the chariot card is also a card of destiny where the stars are aligning for you so there may be something playing out for you especially since we've got two major arcana coming out today there may be something playing out in your world that is destined to happen whether it's something coming in something being eclipsed out or just something evolving and changing whatever that happens to be for you there is something here that is meant to be all right. And so whether it's just, you know, the actions that you're taking, like everything's falling into place and you just know and trust in your intuition. And it's like, nope, this is what I have to do. This is the direction that I have to go. And I'm not doubting myself. And that can be a beautiful energy in and of itself. All right. But I'm going to leave that there for you guys. OK, embrace your chariot. Okay, some of you, hey, by the way, may also be wanting to move to a different destination. Maybe you're going on a vacation or on a road trip. The chariot can sometimes represent a car, like a vehicle of some kind. Um, and it can be, you know, by your own personal power. So it can be like a bicycle or something, um, but it can also represent like a car. And with the four of pentacles, maybe some of you are looking at buying a new car and you might need to dip into your savings um, or something or find a way to pay for it even if it's like car repairs or something and this can be a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue a little bit of a challenge all right so just you know just to make sure I mean obviously you probably need a car to get around and to make more money right you know you usually need a car to get to your job so um, in this energy just make sure you're doing all of your homework because we do have still the chaotic energy in the skies and so just make sure that you're asking questions and that you are making um, really getting all the information that you need to make the right choice for yourself. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to check out all the Halloweeny things that we got going on. Um, I even brought out the uh, in one of the in one of the little short videos. I actually even brought out the Gypsy Witch cards, which are always good at this time of year. Um, so maybe I will throw those into tomorrow's daily reading for you guys because they're kind of fun. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.